You know, I was sitting here for 10 minutes thinking how I'm gonna make an intro for this video and I can't figure it out. I guess I can start by telling you what my reaction was to seeing the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer. Now let's get to what this video is about and that's my character predictions for Mortal Kombat 11. Now these are characters that I think are most likely gonna show up, like obviously I don't know the roster, but I think there will be at launch 25 to 26 characters, I have 26 characters here, I think that 26 characters will be on the main roster when the game first launches, because that's like on average, that's how NRS games are uh, released, with a character of about 20 to 25 playable characters, so I'll be generous and give it a 26 character main roster, and I'm just gonna try and tell you guys who I think will be on the main roster and why I think they will be on the main roster and how likely they are to show up on the main roster right now we just have a silhouette of an ugly guy who's either talking on the phone or drinking something from a cup I think he's talking on the phone though but let's get, let's get to the characters that are 100% gonna be in the game starting with obviously Raiden we saw him in the trailer and he was confirmed in a press conference and we also saw screenshots in game of Raiden so he's a hundred percent in this game not Raiden actually evil Raiden good Raiden might show up in the game but we know hundred percent that evil Raiden will be in the game next we have Scorpion obviously we also know that he was he's gonna be in the game because of the trailer and because he's Scorpion and also Sub-Zero for the same reason those two characters are a staple of Mortal Kombat and they are in every game or almost every game Sub-Zero is in every Mortal Kombat game but Scorpion was only not included in one game and that was Mortal Kombat 3 the next character is Liu Kang and the reason I think Liu Kang will be in the game 100% is because of the ending of Mortal Kombat X for those that don't know spoiler alert and I guess whatever just spoiler alert for those that don't know Mortal, uh, Liu Kang at the end of Mortal Kombat 11 took over the Netherrealm with his princess Princess Kitana they both became the Emperor and Empress of the Netherrealm so they will be 100% in this game and they were in the ending of Mortal Kombat uh, X hinting that they will be the main like villains of Mortal Kombat uh, 11 then you have Reptile Reptile is one of those characters that I consider to be a staple of Mortal Kombat like he is he's up there with Scorpion and Sub-Zero like he's in every Mortal Kombat game as well the only games he didn't show up in were Mortal Kombat vs DC and Mortal Kombat uh, Deception and the reason he wasn't in Mortal Kombat Deception was because he turned into Onaga so I really don't see a reason why he wouldn't show up in this game he didn't die in the previous game and he's never really he never really had a good part in the story or like a main part in the story but he always shows up because everybody loves Reptile, everybody knows Reptile, he's an awesome character and an awesome ninja and I know that NRS loves him like I know for a fact that Ed Boon himself likes Reptile Noob Saibat, uh, the reason I think Noob Saibat will show up in this game is because he was hinted at in intros that he was still like alive in the previous game and not only that but because of the like overwhelming demand for Noob Saibat like a lot of people demanded to see Noob Saibat in Mortal Kombat X and he didn't show up I think Ed Boon himself like if you look through his tweets in Mortal Kombat X like he was surprised at how much like people wanted to see Noob Saibat in, in Mortal Kombat X Jade obviously the reason I think Jade will be in this game is because I guess the same reason Noob Saibat uh, the same reason I think Noob Saibat will be in the game and that's popular demand like when Jade was not included in Mortal Kombat X a lot of people were very upset like she didn't even show up in the story she was it's like she never existed there were no hints about where she went there were there was nothing absolutely nothing about Jade in the story mode of Mortal Kombat X or anywhere the only place we saw Jade in Mortal Kombat X was in an ending I'm not sure which ending I forgot but she was in an ending for one of the characters and it did hint at the story of Mortal Kombat 11 and it seems like they're continuing with that story or like semi continuing with that story which is like time travel and multiple timelines we know that for a fact from Mortal Kombat 11's announcement trailer that there will be time travel in this game and there will be multiple versions of each character because we see Scorpion, um, Mortal Kombat X Scorpion and then we see Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion 
Then we have Cassie Cage. Obviously, the reason I think Cassie Cage will be in this game is because she wasn't a complete failure in Mortal Kombat uh, X, and she was the main character of Mortal Kombat X. So to not include her in this game would kind of be weird. And I think it will be a shame not to see her in this game. Uh, NRS will at least include three to four characters uh, that were previously introduced in Mortal Kombat X to be in this game. I 100% believe that at the very least three characters that were new in, that were newly introduced in Mortal Kombat X will show up in Mortal Kombat 11, 100% and Cassie Cage will be one of them. The next character is Baraka. The reason I think Baraka will show up in this game is because NRS loves Baraka and he's one of the classics and not just that NRS loves Baraka, everybody loves Baraka. Baraka is fucking awesome and I don't see a reason why he wouldn't show up in this game. He didn't show up in the previous game. He showed up in the story mode, but he wasn't a playable character. He, he was included in Mortal Kombat X in some way. And I know some people will say, well, he died at the hands of Devorah in Mortal Kombat X. But this is a story about going back in time and multiple timelines and multiple versions of the characters. So he will definitely show up somewhere. If not playable, he will be in the story. But I do think he will be playable, either as DLC or in the main roster. I think he will show up in the main roster, 100%. Then you have Ermac. The reason I think Ermac will be in this game is because, again, Ermac is one of the popular ninjas. Ermac is awesome. Everybody loves Ermac. NRS loves Ermac. Uh, there's no reason for him not to show up. The only reason I can think of for Ermac not showing up is if his ending in Mortal Kombat X was canon. But I don't think it's canon. I do think that Ermac will be in this game because there's absolutely no reason for Ermac not to show up in this game. Then you have Cabal. Uh, there is nothing Cabal will be in this game, and I don't think like he's a, he's very high up on the list, but I do think he has a chance, like a very strong chance of showing up in this game. The reason I think that is because, like previously, people didn't like Cabal. Let's be honest here. Like in the when he first was introduced, and then when he came back in the 3D era, like people didn't like him all that much. But Mortal Kombat 9 really, really brought Cabal back, or really brought him to the forefront actually, not back. They they made him likable. People started liking him. I started fucking liking him. He's the only speedster in Mortal Kombat, like in the entire Mortal Kombat uh, cast. He's the only speedster and every NRS game needs a speedster. I don't know why he didn't. He wasn't in Mortal Kombat X. I was surprised that he wasn't in Mortal Kombat X, but I think this game will 100% have Cabal in it. Then you have Takeda. The reason I think Takeda will show up is because he was one of the successful and newly introduced characters in Mortal Kombat X. And also because Enos seems to have a bias for Kenshi. So obviously they will have a bias for uh, his son. Also, also, also he was the apprentice of Scorpion. So Enos loves Takeda. Everybody else loves Takeda. His design is awesome. His moves are awesome. There's no reason why Takeda won't show up in this game. I 100% think Takeda will be in this game, like, guaranteed. Then you have Rain. Uh, the reason I think Rain will be in this game is the same reason I think Noob Saibat and Jade will be in this game, and that's because of popular demand. And I remember Edmund tweeting about uh, Rain and Noob Saibat and Baraka and Fujin. Although Fujin, like, he trolls about Fujin. I don't think Fujin will be in this game, to be honest. He might be DLC, but I don't think he will be on the main roster. I highly doubt it. Then you have Shang Tsung. Like, Shang Tsung is 100% gonna be in this game. It's a guarantee that Shang Tsung will be in this game. There's no doubt about it. The only reason Shang Tsung wouldn't be in this game is because he is still dead. Like, that, they can use that as an excuse for why he's not in the game and then bring him back as DLC. But whether he's DLC or on the main roster, he will be in this game. 100%. Then you have Sindel. I think Sindel will be on the main roster when this game launches because people were very angry that Sindel wasn't in Mortal Kombat X and I was one of the people who were angry because I don't like Sindel but I think like they just cut her story short between Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X like she needed to be a playable character in Mortal Kombat X she obviously had a part in the story of Mortal Kombat X but she wasn't significant uh, and I think that's like that's a disservice to Sindel because Sindel like had an arc that was that didn't end in Mortal Kombat 9 and wasn't finished in Mortal Kombat X and maybe now they can finish it maybe she can be one of the good guys again like she was in the 3D era who knows I think Sindel will be in the main roster though 100% and I'd, I'll really really be interested to see the intros between her and Shao Kahn especially if she becomes like one of the good guys 
Then you have Scarlet. Uh, the reason I think Scarlet will be in this game is because I remember hearing that she was very, very, very close to being included in Mortal Kombat X's guest, or at least in the Mortal Kombat X story. I'm almost certain that they will include uh, Scarlet in this game because they really don't want to leave her behind. She has a lot of potential and I think they see the potential that Scarlet has. I think this is her game and I think she will show up and she will be really really cool because NRs just know, know how to make characters fun to play and Scarlet as a concept is really good. Then you have Tremor, obviously Tremor was uh, a test I would say, I, I believe he was a test in Mortal Kombat X, like he was added as DLC and they wanted to see if he did well or he didn't do well. I think personally that he did very very well, like, like all the things people had to say about Tremor and Mortal Kombat X were positive, so I think Tremor worked out really well in Mortal Kombat X and I, I believe he sold well, I don't know, like I didn't look at any sales or anything, but from what I think, I think he sold well and I think that people really liked him, I liked him, I personally really liked him, I didn't expect to like him as much as I did, but I did like him, so I think they want like drop this opportunity to build up on Tremor and make him one of the, the awesome ninjas. Then you have Aaron Black. Aaron Black was one of the new characters that were introduced alongside like Takeda and Cassie Cage, Cold Khan, Devora, Ferrator, all of those. And Aaron Black was very popular, especially at the start of uh, Mortal Kombat X's run. He was extremely popular and I think even at the very end he was popular. He was very fun to play. He's He looks awesome. He plays awesome. His, his concept in general is awesome and I just I just don't see a reason why he wouldn't be included in this game. He didn't die in the previous game. He still has some story potential, I think. Like, maybe you can turn him into a good guy. He wasn't really a bad guy in Mortal Kombat X. He was just, like, loyal to his emperor. But now, maybe you can have, like, a new villain. Maybe Aaron Black could team up with the good guys to face Raiden. I don't know. We could see what... We'll see what happens, but... He's 100% gonna be in this game, guaranteed. Then you have Smoke. Smoke I'm not sure about, like Smoke I'm 50-50 about, but I don't know why they wouldn't include Smoke. Like the, re the only reason why they wouldn't include Smoke in the main roster is just to leave him for DLC, but I think Smoke will be in this game. There's no reason why he wouldn't be in this game. I'm just 50-50 about whether he's gonna be in the main roster or DLC, but I don't see them leaving Smoke out of this game. And if they do leave Smoke out of this game, then I think they will add Triborg in this game and then they will have uh, smoke as a variation but it just doesn't make sense to leave smoke out like they left him out of the Mortal Kombat X and I was actually surprised that they left him out of Mortal Kombat X like I thought he was gonna be in Mortal Kombat X but he wasn't everybody loves smoke I love smoke he will show up in this game either as DLC or on the main roster then you have Kenshi now the reason I think Kenshi will be in this game is if you look at the history of Mortal Kombat X or not Mortal Kombat X if you look at the history of Mortal Kombat Ever since Kenshi was introduced in the 3D era, like in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, he always showed up. He always showed up. He showed up in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, he showed up in Mortal Kombat Deception, he showed up in Mortal Kombat 9, and then he showed up in Mortal Kombat X. He didn't show up in Mortal Kombat vs. DC because he wasn't part of the Mortal Kombat 2 storyline, and he didn't show up in Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks because, again, he wasn't part of the Mortal Kombat 2 storyline. But, like, every main game included Kenshi after he was introduced. They love Kenshi, I love Kenshi, everyone loves Kenshi, Kenshi will be in this game. The final character I think will be in this game in the main roster is Havoc. Now the reason I think Havoc will be in this game is uh, to be honest a bit wishful thinking because I like Havoc but I'd like to say that NRS sees potential in Havoc. I don't know if they actually do or not but I'd like to believe that they see potential in Havoc I certainly see potential in Havoc. I think Havoc could be one of those characters that, that really make interesting stories because like the only thing he lives for is chaos. He doesn't have any like grand plan or anything. He, he the only thing he does the only thing he wants is to have chaos. And that's his entire character, it's just chaos. He's he's about chaos. Like that's his entire motivation in, in life is to cause chaos. So he could be a very very interesting element to throw in the story like there's a lot of ways you can uh, go with Havoc and in terms of movesets like NRS always makes characters really fun to play so I'm not worried about that like gameplay I'm just worried about like how I'm just worried about what they're gonna do with him in terms of story 
I think he's got potential. I think NRS sees this potential, and I think NRS will act on this potential. Personally, I would love to see Havoc, but I think it's more like 30% he will show up. And then, the last four spots, I want to leave for uh, new characters. I obviously can't predict characters that never showed up, but we know that one of those four characters is uh, a timekeeper type of character that we see in the Mortal Kombat 11 announcement trailer. That leaves us with three new characters and that concludes my list of predictions. Again, I want to stress by saying that this is just a prediction list, this is not a wish list because if it was a wish list, I would just fill it to a sector. Like, the entire cast would just be sector. But this is a prediction list. This is who I think will be in this game or who I think has a very 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 high chance of showing up in this game or higher chance than others of showing up in this game. Obviously Liu Kang, Kitana and Sub-Zero like those are guarantees. There is no reason why those three won't show up in this game. Uh, Jade I also think she will be a crucial part of the story so I think she will show up. Then you have someone like uh, Cassie Cage, Takeda, and Aaron Black. Amongst all the new characters that were introduced in Mortal Kombat X, those three were the most popular, so I do think that they will show up. And that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to leave your predictions in the comments down below, and leave a like if you want to, leave a dislike if you want to, and if you don't want to do either, then fuck you.